uh, in this uh, space. So first thing is um, I'm going to reposition the, the cutting plane. This, this, sorry, this second button here, geometric target. And I'm going to make it parallel with the, with the floor. So it's cutting at the, at the height of the floor. Um, and then I want to uh, select this, this first option here to numerically reposition the, the um, cutting plane. So I'm going to change that translation to uh, 80 inches. I guess I have to type in 80 inch. Okay, so 80 inches. And then um, you'll see T for translation. And the uh, local direction uh, uh, that you see in the middle here is U, V, and W in this case is the Z direction. And it's pointing down, so we want to move it in the negative W. So we want to press this, this button here, negative translation W. So that just moves that just moves the No, let's try that one more time. No, it's repositioning it for some reason. Let's try that. Let's cancel that for a second. Let's try that again. Okay, so I'm going to make it parallel by using this geometrical target. And then basically, I want to move it in this direction. So I'm going to set the translation. <coughs> and now, yeah, there you go. Exactly. So it should, so you should see it move up 80 inches. And um, so this marks for us, you know, where, where that head height uh, would be. And um, now I think we want to turn off the volume cut so that what we see is just the outline. So we should see an outline. And click OK. OK. So um, next thing I'm going to get into uh, an an annotating and how you uh, annotate that. Um, one quick thing, I just want to show some of the options uh, underneath the section. So if I right click and go to Section Object, uh, you see that there's there's options here to activate. So, so if I want to edit the section, I could just double click, and it would take me right back to that sectioning definition window. Or if I wanted to, I could I could edit some of these options just by right clicking and say activate deactivate the section cut, right? And that's just gonna turn that uh, volume section on. Or I can go and unhide that or uh, deactivate that. Um, also, if you want to really quickly, you see the, the line work that's, that's generated here. Um, if you wanted to, um, you can right click and go to export the section. And so this is kind of a quick way if you wanted to uh, cut a model and just see the line work that's generated from the, the overall 
uh, section. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. It's called Section 4 as an IGIS. And then I could uh, I could open this line work work up in um, um, any other environment. Let's say uh, Rhino, for instance. So let me uh, go ahead and save that. So it's just converting. And now if I if I go to Rhino, open that up. So this is just this isn't a substitute for drawing generation. This is you know if we we went over drawing generation in the previous uh, webinar, and that it still stands. That if you want to do drawings, then you you definitely need to follow that um, the methods we went over last time. But for just a quick cut of the model. We can use that tool and export the line work. So this is just kind of a quick and dirty uh, method for, for getting an overall cut of the model. If you want to understand, you know, kind of what some of the, uh, the issues are if you wanted to, to send this to someone. All right. So... <clears throat> So now I want to um, to look at annotating, and what we need to do. Um, again, if you if you want to um, make sure that you can get inside the model, you want to make sure that you have this uh, perspective projection turned on. Um, if you have this parallel, as much as you zoom in, you'll you won't enter the model since we're just looking at it in parallel mode. But if we turn it to perspective then we can zoom in and cross over into the inside of the model. Alright, so if we look at this column that we were looking at previously in the fourth session, um, we now have our, our head height indicated, so this is sort of the uh, the point um, down going down from from which that we we need to deal with the area underneath the column. So um, I'm going to go to the uh, annotated view. You should see it over here on your uh, on your left. Click that. And as soon as you select that, you should see um, this window pop up. Now, while you're annotating, um, you don't want to rotate your view because as soon as you rotate your view or zoom in and out, um, you'll automatically exit the um, annotation mode. So, for instance, um, if I if I changed my let's say I'm going to draw a line right here. just indicating the, the head height. And if I rotate now, it disappears. That's because the, the line I just drew is, it was in 2D, and it was just for that view. If I want to go back to that, I just look at the bottom of my window here under Annotated Views, and um, just double-click this view one that was created. And it takes me right back. So basically what this does is it saves a camera viewpoint, um, which is really nice because it'll, it allows uh, other people that you're communicating with in your team to see the model in the same exact viewpoint that you're looking at. And then it saves 2D um, drawing lines, uh, which um, it's basically kind of like drawing on your screen. You know, so it's, it's strictly on a 2D plane. Um, so I'm going to continue. Uh, there's there's other tools here. There's a freehand. So if you want to kind of very quickly 